devil's mark. <laughs> it's not a devil's Stop. mark. Natalie and Alfred sitting in a tree. You know that's what the segment's supposed to be. Yeah. It's called Natalie and Alfred sitting in a tree. But, okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, something that me and Natalie are divided on. Chappies. We're Nat not divided on it. Chappies. What's chappies? Tattoos. It's not a chappy. The devil's mark. <laughs> it's not a devil's so, mark. That's what it says. So Natalie has tattoos. How many tattoos here? Why do we need to now exploit that situation? Uh, but you, do you have tattoos or not? Yes, I do. Now, but many now, do why? Have? Why do we? Why are you ashamed of it? I'm not ashamed. Mm. I had it when I was young. Jelly, you got that last tattoo just before I met you. <laughs> hey! Mm. Listen, so my thing is, is that, okay, all jokes aside, I don't have a problem with anybody expressing themselves in every which way. I actually find certain pictures, like with people with tattoos, beautiful. I think it's great. And I also know there's that myth that says, Ooh, my vanier day, outra. Mmm, then there's a nut. Like it's glakki meer so perky nie. Then there's a slag aan hang it, but you fell aan. That's what we normally hear, especially from our parents. But if you guys want to check out, just go and ta just go and Google old people with tattoos. It's like a, there's a couple of beautiful shots, and it doesn't look as bad as what people think it's going to be. In fact, it doesn't look bad at all if it's obviously the right artist. But I've never been a person for a tattoo because I'm like, I, there's nothing I want to write on my body that I never want to change. You know. It's like a cell phone. I don't want to be with it forever. I don't want to marry the cell phone. I don't want to marry words. So yeah, why do you get chappies? Cha cha? <laughs> it's not chappies, it's tattoos. Yeah, I like the it. first one that I got, I was very young and stupid and I just wanted, I, I saw a picture and I liked it and I said, okay. How I'm old is that. young? Why do we <laughs> go so deep into my personal life? I was 16. Ooh, your mother, did she know? My mother didn't know. Of course not. Like my my mother-in-law is a Christian woman. <laughs> I did it. I had it done, and then yeah, I told her afterwards. Did she move? She was no, she didn't move. She was very upset though. But Ooh, uh, how know. long did you hear about it? You know, my mother-in-law still tells me when when a, the tattoo conversation comes up, <laughs> and she says, "Alfred, do you have tattoos?" <laughs> you know, when someone asks you like us, "Do you have tattoos?" Ugh. Then I said, no, mother, I am clean. <laughs> and she I'm says, sure. good, you must stay there. It's not Oh, nice. man. And then Don't I got nice. another few after that. <laughs> <And a couple. laughs> you know, the weird part is, and this is how you know my parents love Natalie. Because my mother and father, woo, tattoos, not my taste. <laughs> <laughs> but I just say, no. Far off on that line, yes. Wow, it's still, <laughs> mm, there's no comma artistic. Mm. I oh, man, it's not it's not that of a bad thing. No, it isn't a bad thing. It's just like if, an, if you're an adult, and, and listen, you get each it. to their own. It's yeah. what you like. If you don't like it, then don't get it. If Abs you like it, then get it. Absolutely get. And also, like if you do get it, I always go. I don't understand making a tattoo. Is not like buying a pair of shoes, okay? Cheap, don't go and buy the cheapest, get the cheapest tattoo yeah. artist. Don't try and bargain a tattoo artist yeah. down, okay? Get the best go artist. Go to a professional yeah. and, and, and find something that means something to you, that's sentimental, that you would want to have it on your body forever. Don't be silly like me and go and get a picture that you liked oh, so when you, you were 16. Do you regret it now? I regret my first tattoo, but yeah. my others mean something to me, so yeah. I don't regret those. When are you going to tattoo my name on you? Yeah, no, that's taking it away. Oh, so, but, so you don't regret, you want to regret my name? <laughs> I don't regret your name, stop talking ah, nonsense. Mrs. Adrian of your boulder. <laughs> anyway, so my thing is, is that I, I'm kidding around. I don't mind tattoos at all. I just, it's not for me, man. It's just not like, yeah. I've never seen something that is like, yeah. A couple of years ago, I almost put a Moorsa lion on my calf. Thank goodness that didn't happen. 
because I'm a Leo and I like the which is I think like I did like Ethan now he just does that randomly um, but it's not for me it's it's not for me it's not something that I I think I would get tired of it I probably won't regret it I just think I would get tired of it it's like a scar you know you it's not like something you regret unless it's not something bloody ridiculous because I've seen some stupid tattoos oh my friend we used to so much there's also a difference between a tattoo and a chappy I tease when I say a chappy is something that people do with blue ink and a and a copy spell in the back of a school bench and then it sits there and there's a manichi on your arm that was drawn by a five or like a 12 year old and that is a chappy or whatever they I think in jail you get things like that but whatever it's like just blue ink scrubbed into your skin that's a chappy a tattoo is an artistic piece by an artist that puts it on your skin because it has sentimental value or you like it but it, it's not so big a deal but this is the other question so Natalie always goes ooh you know she's all liberal very liberal no it's each his own until will you let Ethan come <laughs> ah. he's also a boy so so of what is the he can have a tattoo if he wants ah, one what he wants a but tattoo. when he's 30 yeah and then what he comes home and he puts a tattoo of his of his burke on his arm look this one Dolores <laughs> forever I will love you yeah and Dolores is 10 years older than him with Three children for Come a now, you're not going way far now. I uh... okay. Well, I guess that's <laughs> the end of this conversation, and that's Natalie's idea <laughs> of tattoos. Would uh, you get another one? A, yeah, of course. Natalie's been wanting to get. I must buy. Her I, I yeah, tattoo. I've been wanting to get um one on my on the back. One day I saw on the back of my arm. Mm, one day I saw we market. were we were at. It was a festival or a beer food festival. Market, or yeah, yeah, so good. And I saw this girl with this tattoo at the back. Oh my what God, did it say again? It's so good. I actually can't even remember. Was it Alfred and, and Adrian? Then, no. And then I, I wouldn't mind a tattoo on the on my back here. So yeah. What's your so that the most uh, that you felt in a tattoo? What's the most painful tattoo you got? My neck. Your neck? Yeah, because it was on oh, my Oh, yes, bone. you got the neck tattoo. I forgot about that. It's so many. Um, <laughs> the neck tattoo. Okay, because it's bone. Okay, cool. And how does it feel? Is it like scratching when they do it? It's frexo. No. Like, if you ever thought you, you, you knew what pain was. What do you it describe it like? Is there any feeling you can describe it like? The is it like outline, someone scrapping you with a pin? So the outline is excruciating. But then when they fill do the in, do the coloring, it's like literally like the worst pain ever. It doesn't it's sound catching. appealing, eh? Yeah, no. It doesn't sound appealing at all. So kids out there, if you're thinking about getting a tattoo, aka the devil's mark. Don't. Don't <laughs> get it at so all. You, you are, are an adult. Very sure. And sure. And also some of you, even adults. Hmm, if you just look with that, Metai you know, dolphins. yeah, don't get engaged with someone, don't get, don't start dating someone and then on Tuesday you guys get couple tattoos, king and queen. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Although I quite like that, king yeah, and queen. Yeah, everyone queen. does that. You want it's to get nice one where support. I go king, and you go queen, and then we put it together, it's king and queen, right there, choppy choppy. Anyway, enough of the chappy talk. That was today's Natalie and Alfred sitting in a tree. Tell us if you have a tattoo out there. Tell us what your worst tattoo experience was, what your best tattoo experience was. And if you like, please send us a picture of your tattoo that went wrong or send us a picture of the most beautiful tattoo that you have. But, but, please don't send us, send us body parts that we are not <laughs> supposed to see, okay? Or if anybody has an idea of what I This is a children's program. Home, that would be amazing. Yeah, you can get... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you can get, but I ain't grateful. 